and welcome back to another chest room with me, Joanna. So today we are going to work on upper body. It's going to be a really good workout. Yesterday we did our one mile, which I hope you all enjoyed that one. So today we're going to be doing a bit of strength training. Have a look in your cupboards now to see if you can find two tins or cans, however you like to call them. If you have got actual dumbbells, you're welcome to use those. Please remember that when you're doing different actions, some actions will feel easier than the others. So if you need to put your weights down, listen to your body, just put your weights down, and you can do the same actions just with a clenched fist there. So um, just do your normal safety checks. Make sure you've got good trainers on. And when you are holding your weights, do clasp them nice and strong because um, we don't want the weights falling down, dropping onto your toe at all there. Make sure you've taken any medications if you needed to this morning. If you haven't, um, don't worry. Maybe don't do the exercise just yet with us. Go back, have some good breakfast, and when you feel ready, you've had a, an hour after taking the medications, come back and join us then. Have a good warm up before you start as well, and make sure you've got no coughs, no colds, no fevers, the usual, and you have to check from your GP or physician before you start exercising with us today. So um, roll up any trips, slips or hazards, so my, my mat has gone here because that is a big trip hazard for me. And um, let's have a look who's with us today. So a quick couple of shout outs, we have got uh, Babka from Oxford, hello, good morning, and Audrey and Jeff from Fleet, good morning, Madeline, good morning there, and we have got Anne Chambers, hello, good morning Anne, and uh, we've got Derek and Veronica, good morning, Anna Vaughan, good morning, and John and Lynn from Cheshire, good morning, I'll tell you what's out the window in a moment, and we've got uh, Catherine, good morning, yeah, so I really need this one as well, so it should be a good session today. Right, so find yourself a nice comfortable space, we've got move, enough room to move around on, make sure you've got your kitchen sideboard to hand, because you will be needing this. If you do want to do this exercise, Regime sat down, that's absolutely fine. You can do all of this sat down as well, so that's good to know. So we're gonna start with a nice, easy walk on the spot. What I'm gonna be doing is doing a 15 second explanation, and then we're gonna have 45 seconds of doing the actual exercise together. This is gonna be a 10 minute workout like we usually do. I know yesterday's was a little bit longer because we did our miles, so it's just back to 10 minutes, followed by some good stretches. So I'm gonna hit the start button, and off we go. So, right, so in nice and easy, relax the shoulders, tummy muscles in, up nice and tall, chin parallel, and go for an easy walk. Do hold on to the side there if you need to. We're gonna start our 45 seconds all together, so let's keep that going. I'm just gonna turn up my volume a bit more so you can hear that. Good stuff. Have a look over your right shoulder. Then back to the centre, look over your left, to the centre, then bring your chin to the chest. Excellent, and again, so right, centre, left, centre, chin to chest. Good, now big shoulder circle all the way up, round and back. Lovely, excellent. Now what I'd like you to do is place your hands onto your shoulders and circle through the elbows. Lovely, do use the side there if you need to hold on to it. That's it, nice big circle all the way up and round, good. Okay, now we're gonna start our next exercise. So we're gonna do some punches. You can come and face your kitchen sideboard. If you're holding on to your weight in your left hand, you're going to punch across and then up to the ceiling. Punch and ceiling, good. So this is level one. What I'd like you to do, if you're level two with me, you're gonna go punch, Ceiling, good, punch and ceiling, punch and ceiling, across the body and up. So the left hand goes across, the right goes up, across and up. Now if you want to pick up the pace, here we go, and across and up, well done, cross and up, keep it going. Now if this pace is too fast, just bring it to a level that suits you, that's the way. I'm gonna to turn to face here, so you can see what I'm doing if I'm just using one arm. That's it, keeping it nice and steady. Right, if you're facing your sink, 
Now I want you to change the weight into the hand that you haven't been using. So if you haven't been using this one, you're going to take it across the body and back. If you're in the middle, you're just going to take it to the other arm. So if you're punching across with this one, this time we're going to go punch across, ceiling, and punch, and ceiling. Good, punch, and ceiling, and punch. Ceiling, that's the way, punch, and ceiling, and punch. Good, ceiling, keep it going. Lovely, nice steady breath. Make sure you can breathe all the way through these exercises together. That's it. If you're finding that it's quite tricky to breathe, put the weights down and slow your pace. If you're finding this is easy peasy, right, let's pick it up. Let's go for it a bit more. Yes, well done, march it out. So the next one, we're going to turn to face the kitchen sideboard again, just with one hand. Bringing the arm up to the top of the shoulder, keeping the elbow at a right angle, and then you're going to take and extend the arm forward and then back down. So it's a lift forward, in and down. Keep it going if you have the kitchen sideboard. If you're with me in the center, this is what it looks like raise and forward, in and down. Good. Raise and forward, in and down. So a lateral raise up. Chest press forward, in and down. Good, keep that going. That's it, keep your pace to the comfortable pace for you, nice and steady. Lovely. Remember, if you're by the kitchen sink and you're holding on with one hand, just keep it onto one arm because we're gonna swap it round in just a moment. Well done, swap it onto the other side. So we're we'll raise, forward, raise, and in. Good. Now, if you're in the centre with me, we're going to take it up, and all we're going to do now is forward and in. Good. So we're going to hold it in this position. Oh, yes. This is a good one. Keep it going. So remember, if you're by your kitchen sideboard, you're raise forward, in and down. Good. Raise it up, forward, in and down. So you've got that sideboard to hold on to. Super, how are we doing level twos? And forward, and in, good. Try and keep those elbows nice and high so they're in line with your shoulders. Oh yes, looking good. We're gonna be able to carry our shopping bags when we go shopping again. We're just training, training for the retail shops to open ready again. That's it, keep it going. Well done, nice and steady. Everyone put your weights down just for a second. Come and face your kitchen sideboard, soft knees, pivot forward from the hips, nice flat back, holding on to the weight in one hand. Elbow nice and soft. You're gonna squeeze between the shoulder blade and just coming up with one arm for four. Then you're gonna swap it round and change it before onto the other side. Now I'm gonna to turn to face you so you can see what this looks like. So I'm squeezing between my shoulder blades. And once I've done four reps, I'm changing it to the other side. Level two in the middle. Both arms together. Good, both together. What I'd like you to do is imagine that you're cracking a nut between your shoulder blades. Crack and it. So you've got a walnut and your shoulder blades, your scapulas, are your nutcrackers. So you're really trying to crack that nut. Good, keep it going. Nice steady breath. Keep breathing. Well done and have a breather. Right, into this position here, what we're going to do is a nice bicep curl and a front raise. So again, you can have one hand onto the side, shoulders nice and low, bicep curl, keep the palm facing up to the ceiling and bring the load up. Bicep curl and up. Four on each side and then you're going to swap the hands in the middle. Bicep curl, raise, good. Bicep curl and raise. Bicep curl and raise. So what we're aiming to do is keep those palms facing up to the ceiling as you're raising up. Slightly different from a normal front raise because we're imagining that we're pushing up a really heavy load with straight arms. Now just relax your shoulders back and down. Make sure you're in a good position. Tummy muscles in. That's it, straight back. Come on, stick with me, we can do this. 
excellent. And we've made it. Okay. So back to your sink. Hold on to one hand of the can. We're going to do a spinal turn. Come forward. Punch and punch. Change onto the other side. Spinal turn. Forward. Punch and punch. That's level two. Level three is spine. Punch and punch. Spine turn. Punch and punch. Spine turn. Punch and punch. Good. Spine turn. Now, this will depend on your flexibility. If you have any back problems, you just take it to where it feels comfortable for you. There should be no pain in exercise. If you're experiencing pain, just stop immediately and don't do the movements so deep. Doesn't matter what I'm doing at the moment, it matters that you're working with your body. And the more you work your body, the more flexible it will become, the more stronger it will become as well. Good. Okay, so now we're into a hamstring curl. So back at the kitchen sideboard, we're going to tuck one leg and bend. So nice, easy hamstring curl. And then we're going to add in a row. Good. You're going to do four on this side. Then you're going to swap it to the other side. Four on this side. If you're in the middle with me, you're going to pull. Imagine that you're pulling a rope in. Good. And you're doing a low row here. Nice. Nice and controlled. So keeping the movement smooth and fluid all the way through. It's not about speed with the strength exercises. So if you're going really fast, yeah, you're working your cardio, that's great. But we also need to be working the muscles a little bit more. So we're strengthening by slowing those movements down, having more control. And that's actually harder we going faster, so well done. Okay, back in for a match on the spot. This is a lovely one now. Shoulder shrugs and circles. So with one hand with the weight of your face in the sink, it's a shrug lift and lower for four. Lift and lower, lift, lower, lift. Now circle and circle for four. And two, three. And four, change the hand onto the other side in the middle. You've got two hands. And lower, and lift, and lower. Last one, circle back, and circle, and lower. Good, circle, and lower. And the reason why we go back is because it opens the posture out. Good, lift, and lower. Excellent, lift, and lower. Keep it going, and lower, and lift, and lower, and circle and down, good, circle, and down, circle, down, last one, circle, and down, super, now we're heading into a pec squeeze, so with these, you're bringing your weight up to about above the head, and your elbows are at right angles, you're squeezing in, and back, so again, if you're facing your sink, you're going to do four in one arm, okay, and then you're going to swap it round, Hold on to the side and do it into the other side. Right, now if you're in the middle, you're gonna squeeze. Really see if you can try and activate. Get those forearms close together, good. That's it, sorry, I'm coming up the screen a little bit there, see if you can see the better. There we go. And squeeze, and in. Lovely, squeeze. And in. Now that last little bit of squeezing, you should be able to feel that. Even if the weights feel quite light for you, by activating, you've got to actively activate. Good. And lower down and breathe. You're nearly there, doing really well. Okay, so if you're back to your sink, what we're heading on to here is a nice easy pump out. And we're going for a punch forward, forward, and up, and up. Good, ready, and forward, forward, up, and up. Good, forward, forward, up, and up. Keep that going, forward, forward, up, and up. I'm gonna go back to my level two. Forward, up, up, forward, forward, up. Then I'm gonna change it round. Forward, forward, and up. Lovely, and forward, forward, and up. Then I'm gonna change it here, and forward, forward, and up. Good stuff, keep with me guys. You're doing really well. 
Can you feel your muscles burning? Okay, last minute, last minute to go. Just check them out. Yeah, last minute. We're only into our, oh, we're nearly there actually. We've only got a couple of seconds. Just walk it out with me. Walk it out. That's it. Nice, easy walk out. And we're going to add in another 45 just for luck. Just walk it out. Good. Get those arms swinging. And again, you can use the side to hold on to if you wish. Okay, let's keep those arms walking. We did such a good walk yesterday. I was so impressed. And the feedback I got from people about where they were doing their walks in the house, it's really made me smile. So well done, everybody. So side view of walking. That's it. Nice and steady. If you do feel like you need a little bit more after this, what you can do is go back and do the walk again. Or go and choose another video, maybe a cardio one to get the heart rate going a little bit more. And remember to cool down, really good cool down at the end. Well done, keep it going. We've got 70 with us. And put the weights down. <sighs> Shake it out. Way! Fantastic, folks. You've made it through. So where we need to cool down, keep the feet moving nice and steady. I'm going to stop my clock. Super. So nice, easy walk on the spot. Lovely, relax the shoulders, body up to the steady breath. Nice, nice. Okay, so if you're facing your sink, you're going to ground the shoulders forward, place your hands onto the top of the sink, and just tuck your head down. Now lower the pace of the feet and just gently pump the heels. Good. That's it. Nice and easy, steady breath. If you're happy to let go of the side, just bring the hands up in front of you and imagine that you're hugging a nice big beach ball or a big cuddly bear. Okay, open out wide. And then just place the hands. You want to turn to face behind you, holding onto the sink if you need to for a bit of the balance and stability. Or you can place them into the lower arch of the back and squeeze the elbows in together. Chin up there, steady breath. What a Fantastic arm workout you guys have done today. Really good. I hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, take the hands down. Nice wide stance and you can stop your feet. Again, do this facing your sink if you need to. You're going to take your right arm across the body and gently pull that arm towards you. So you can feel a lovely stretch onto the top of the shoulder. That's known as your deltoid on there. Steady breathing. Keep a nice distance between your ear and the shoulder. If you feel that ear's creeping up, just let it drop down. Well done. Now here comes the trick. I'm going to grab my tea towel. If you've got a tea towel to hand, see if you can grab it. Right. You've got your tea towel. You're going to whip it over the shoulder. Take the hand holding onto the tea towel behind and gently pull that tea towel up until your elbow raises to a position that you can feel a stretch. Now it might be here you feel that stretch. That's fine. You just stop there. If it's here, great, you do a level that suits you. You could be super flexible, and actually you don't need a detail, and you might be able to clasp your fingers together. Whoa. Okay, and relax that down, super. Right, let's go for the other side. So take the left arm across the body, gently pull that arm towards you, shoulders nice and low. Give me a big smile, because you're nearly there. Amazing. What a great way to start the day. Okay, take that hand forward, grab your tea towel if you need to, whip it over that shoulder, other hand comes behind, holding on to the tea towel, pull it back and down, raising the elbow up. Oh, feel that lovely stretch running right down the back of the arm, that's your tricep there. Good stretching. Okay, gently release that down. Nice big shoulder rolls all the way back. Two, three, and four. Nice wide stance. We're going to take a deep breath in. As we do, we're going to slightly soften the knees and the arms come out and above our heads. So breath in. And breath out. Breath in. And breath out. Last one. Breath in. And breath out, get a nice easy shake off, and give yourself a round of applause, Woo! you've made it through, 
Fantastic, guys. If you enjoyed that session, please do hit the like button and do subscribe because you'll be uploaded with the next exercise automatically in your inbox. Um, and do share to your friends if you wish. That would be lovely. See if we can get a bigger, nice exercise community going. Oh, because these. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Right, it's not coronavirus. I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little bit of for that. <laughs> so we're just going to do some shout outs at the end. Right, who have we got here? Um, we have got uh, Viv and Clive from Bristol. Hello Viv and Clive, nice to see you today. And um, we've got um, Louise and Mum. Oh, that's so lovely. Hi Louise and Mum. Maureen, ready to go, super. Oh, Catherine, lots of crunching in my neck and shoulders. Oh, no. But you're doing really well. You're working through it. Cheryl. Oh, thank you, Cheryl, for your lovely comment there. Inhale in Cheshire. Cheshire's lovely up there. Uh, Leslie. Oh, thank you. Great way to start the day. I'm pleased you enjoyed it, Viv. Moira from Poole. Oh, lovely. Hi, Moira. Anne, and you enjoyed it. Well done. And Madeline. Oh, you're welcome, Madeline. Derek and Veronica found this a bit hard, but it was okay. Well, well done for having a good go. And Marion, great workout. Thank you very much. And Yvonne and John, thank you for joining us today. So, again, I hope you have a wonderful day, rest of your day. Do enjoy it. And I shall see you tomorrow for our next session. Oh, before we go, uh, Margaret uh, Brostock, we are in the southwest of France. Oh, you lucky things. We're not jealous at all. <laughs> and Catherine, thank you very much. And I shall see you all tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Ciao, ciao.